Ghanaian participants at the just ended 14th CII Exim Bank Conclave on India Africa Partnership Project in New Delhi, India, are hailing the conclave as one of the most successful investments and trade summits. Several Ghanaian governments, companies, and individuals signed significant MOUs ranging from health to industry and manufacturing. About 31 ministers, 50 captains of industry, private sector operators and policy makers from 40 African countries, investors from Europe and USA joined their counterparts from India at the 14th CII Exim Bank Conclave on India-Africa Project Partnership in New Delhi, India. The event, which was to deepen economic and trade relations between India and Africa, had the Vice President, Dr. Baumia, as the guest of honor with the Prime Minister for Guinea, Deputy Prime Minister for Lesotho in attendance. At a three-day conclave, Ghana signed a number of agreements, prominent among which is a $180 million facility for agriculture expansion and the Yendi Water Project, the 400 million MOU with the Ghana Health Service to train medical practitioners, Ghana and Guinea bilateral cooperation to develop the bauxite industry in the Samira project, securing 12 scholarships for Ghanaian students and free treatment for pediatric related diseases. The private sector players also sealed several deals. I'm looking to bring in my product to India and also looking forward for them also to come and invest in mine. We have a bigger place, we have a big company that is ready available for investors and partners. They also described the conclave as a success. If you look at all other countries in Africa who came here, I think Ghana has been on top in terms of uh, the willingness for Indians to come to Ghana and to partner and to do all other businesses. And as I think this is a very good thing and we must all support. If you look at Exim Bank India, they are ready, you know, to make sure that they have facilities for Ghanaian businesses in a JV, I mean joint venture arrangement between Indian businesses and Ghanaian businesses. Let us take advantage of such opportunities and then make sure that we can establish back home. It is very difficult nowadays in getting financing in Ghana. So once we have the opportunity and we can get that arrangement of financing, I think the time is now. This meeting has been very, very wonderful. We have been able to attract very good people and spoken to very good business people who are willing to come to Ghana to set up. And so I think in all, it has been so well. Our two hospitals have agreed to co collaborate with us to train our doctors and nurses and allied health professionals in the state of the art medical uh, services. They want to us to bring doctors here for some specialty training. So immediately we go back, we are going to arrange to bring residents who have finished their membership to come and do some specialty in oncology surgery, radiology, cardiothoracic surgery, cardiology, nephrology, urology, and all the other robotic urology. And they were also going to train our nurses to a level of PhDs. We've had a number of uh, MOU signed. Hero Cycles wants to come and assemble in Ghana. Um, for example, that's one. Uh, there's another company that wants to manufacture agri agricultural processing instruments and equipment in Ghana. And, and so we, I think we're on a good track. Um, we're also being made aware that India being such a big country, we shouldn't only look at Delhi, but we should look at some of the other states where a lot of things are happening. The government officials believe the interactions will yield the needed dividend in investment.